this thing out of the box, shall we? Look at that, I got a box inside a box. It's always my favorite part. When you give me a box inside a box inside a box inside a box. Anyway, so what we got here is a Force 10 network switch. So the goal here is to put this. I moved this down. Uh, it was sitting up here. I moved it down. I moved that uh, cable management. I took it out. I'm going to put it back down here. And then I'm going to put the Force 10 switch here. And the idea is that I'm going to put a 4 gig lag port between the SMC and here on the Force 10. These are the gigabit ports. And then I've got 10 gig ports here. And I have 10 gig ports here. And the idea behind this is that I'm going to be able to have a 4 gig link up between this switch and the other switch. And in all intents and purposes, I don't have enough devices currently to really make this practical. But I'm doing this for future demonstrations between uh, multiple switch, VLAN, uh, VLAN functionality, VLAN connectivity, and then with the servers that I have, uh, this one is going to have a 10 gig line card, uh, and it's going to connect to the firewall, it's going to connect back to the Force 10. Uh, this one here has two ports, but currently I'm just going to go ahead and leave this uh, with just those two ports. This machine here is going to get a 10 gig line card, because it's got the, the NetApp, and then this machine down here has got four ports internal. I've got the two Intels here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a 10 gig line card. And the goal is that the main machine is gonna have a 10 gig access to the, the storage, and then each one of the other ports I can individually assign to virtual machines and whatever else I, I wanna do with it. So that's kind of the goal with that. So I'll have six internal ports, for VMs and I could even lag that up to make it six gig connections back to the system but it's really just again all for demonstration purposes mostly otherwise uh, I don't really need all of that in this kind of setup um, there's my my fancy connect cards uh, so that is the the goal at the moment so I'm prepping and ready to put this up here into the rack and then I'm gonna start running cables now you see this green line here that is actually a, this old Corona patch cable. Uh, this was supposed to go into a Corona block, which is, or Crone, that's Corona, it's Corona blocks. It's an old type of uh, high speed connectivity block. They are funny looking. Uh, so that's the, the block, it was a lot of old telco stuff, but it was also really good for gigabit connectivity. Uh, but then this, this device here would plug directly into this. Now I could set this up as my patch panel. Uh, the, the idea is that all of these want lines run into here and then you use this to plug into it but I, I and then you can jump with them to other sides and there's no uh, I don't have a use for this anymore so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna chop off the end of this cable because it is a 15 footer uh, and rewire this into my patch panel. And on the other end, some of them, because I only have a limited number uh, through the ages of moving this around, I have lost some of these connections. Uh, so I don't have any of them. I only have these eight. Uh, but I do have the, I have this, which I'm not a big fan of these, but they're, they're useful. And in this kind of situation, it's useful. Their keystone jacks are double-sided. And so I'm gonna run the patch cable. I'm gonna clip it here and connect it to the 110 block. And then I'm gonna run it over into the cabinet. And then on this end, it's got, it's got a connector like this. I'm just gonna plug that into the, the patch, patch panel. And then the servers, they're RJ45 or you know their Cat5, Cat6, Cat5e cables are going to plug into that, and then they're going to or they're going to plug into this depending on what uh, what it is, and then I will have fiber lines running. Uh, I don't have any 
fiber patch panels, which I'd like to have, but I don't have any. Uh, I do have some of these, which are four patch panels, but these are old SC connectors, uh, and I need LC connectors for for these. Uh, I do have some more LC LC connectors coming, some 16 foot patch cables. So once those are in, I'm going to be able to run the, the 10 gig uh, across and into the cabinet, uh, and that's kind of where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this.